Now what we're going to do is we're going to use this shotgun cable uh, to one this video signals. Now if you can see why it's not shotgun is that you've got two wires there, one for uh, power plus and minus then one for video. And these ones are known as DC leads, uh, direct current leads, that's a male DC lead and then I also got a female DC lead. So in shotgun you got plus and minus uh, when it comes to power so I'm going to use plus as red and minus as black. When you do this DC leads, um, what you're going to do um, with the camera side, you're going to install the male DC lead. Most of these cameras come with the female DC lead, uh, so it makes sense for you to sort of install the male part. The other side, the side that which goes to the DVR, um, as far as the BNC is concerned, it's the same thing. It's got it's got the male, but when it comes to power, we're going to do the female DC lead. So we got this uh, shotgun cable done now. So we're going to connect that to the camera. So the female BC, uh, BNC would go with male BNC. Um, then again, the female uh, DC lead would go with the male DC leads. The other side of it will go to the DVR where it says input. So I'll put it on channel one. When it comes to the power, uh, power doesn't come from the DVR, it has to be separate power source. So we're using a, a power adapter. Now I'll show you in, in um, later about using a professional CCTV power box. For the time being, we're using these adapters. So the power is connected. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to power the DVR. Now I've got a VGA cable, and it's known as a VGA cable, which will now be connected to the DVR for the main display. And the widget cable is now connected to a monitor, so you could now see the camera.